We're going to start using some uh, shapes and potentially even pictures in a chart to highlight various things. This is what I want to end up with. And the key difference between this and what we've got right now are these rounded corners on the edge. And I think that just gives it that, that little bit of a, a different look that just creates a bit more standout than your, your standard block chart here. So how do we do that? Well, it's actually very simple. All we do is we insert a shape, and this could be any shape, but the one we're going to pick for this purpose is a rectangle with the top corners rounded off. So we're gonna insert that in here. Um, get it looking roughly how we want to look, right? It just so happens that it's picked a good, the color we wanted. But over on the right hand side, you can see we have this shape formatting. We could pick all different things. So for example, we could have um, a gradient fill on this of some kind, uh, all manner of different um, types of things here. But I'm just gonna pick for now a solid fill, no transparency on it at all but I don't want a line going around it. I want to keep it nice and clean. So I'm going to get rid of the border and go with no line. So this is the shape. This is what I want it to look like. So I'm going to copy that, select the entire series and paste it. Now, of course, I've now destroyed the color scheme that I've just put in place. Change that back to the color that we were in and now what's happened? You can see straight away it's squared off the edges again because I've destroyed the fact that the shape is there. So what I actually need to do is change the color of the shape to that and just paste it on just that one bar. I'm now going to do the same on this one. So I'll change that color to the dark yellow that I want. Copy and paste that onto just that one. So there we have it, a very good looking sales and profit chart. If you do want to put that into a PowerPoint presentation, for example, you can, by highlighting it, drop down on the copy, you can copy it as a picture and then you can put it into anything you like. So you don't need the underlying data. If I copy that as a picture, for example, I, got, I can show it as I want on screen. So I'll do that for a start. I can then paste that anywhere I want. And it's basically just a picture that I can resize without any kind of problem. Incidentally, resizing this does create kind of issues because fonts don't resize with it. So I'll undo that. And as one kind of final bonus, you can of course then save this as a template by right clicking, uh, save as a template going to create, call this uh, chart three and save it. And now I can just go to uh, the design of it, select the chart type, go on my templates, pick the one I want. Okay. And now we're basically there. We just need to uh, play around, but we've pretty much got the standard format set up and running and um, just get that out of the way and we'll be able to get to this position in far quicker time than we possibly could have otherwise.